There are going to be four sections to this lesson today. The first section will be about surnames. The second section will be street names. The third section will be telephone numbers. And the fourth section will be email addresses. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot my own lesson then. <laughs> so let's start with the surnames. What I've got here are five questions, each with a person's first name. I'm going to read the person's name in full and then I'm just going to spell the surname twice. I'd like you to write on your piece of paper or on your laptop, tablet, phone, whatever you're using to write, write the surname, okay? So really focus on the spelling of the surname and write that. Don't focus on the Deborah, David, Samuel, Sam, Samuel, <laughs> Samuel part, okay? Just focus on the surnames. Are we ready? People are saying yes. Let's go. So, number one, Deborah Rainsworth, R-A-I-N-S-W-O-R-T-H. Deborah Rainsworth, R-A-I-N-S-W-O-R-T-H. Number two, David Kilnsborough. K-I-L-N-S-B-O-R-O-U-G-H David Kilnsborough K-I-L-N-S-B-O-R-O-U-G-H Samuel Plumsford P L U M F O R D Samuel Plumsford P L U M F O R D Stephanie Newkey N E W Q U A Y Stephanie Newkey N E W Q U A Y Chloe Hillcomb H I double L C double O M B E Chloe Hillcomb Hillcomb <laughs> Hillcomb H I double L C double O M B E. The next one is street names that we're going to look at. So um, we're going to just focus on the name of the street, but some of the things that you might come across are words like avenue, road, street, way, boulevard, drive, lane, and grove. There may be some other ones that you come across, but these are really common ones that you might find in English street names. So let's imagine the name of my street was uh, Bristol, okay? You could say Bristol Avenue, Bristol Road, Bristol Street, Bristol Way, and so on, okay? So all of these come at the end. Let's focus on some street names, shall we? People are doing well, I'm really glad. Don't worry if you find it difficult because I did not make this easy today. I've definitely made it challenging. So some street names, are we ready? Number one, Henley's Avenue, H-E-N-L-E-A-Z-E. -E. Henley's Avenue, H-E-N-L-E-A-Z-E. A Z E Number two Eastley Drive E A S T L E I G H Drive <laughs> Eastley Drive E A S T L E I G H Number three, Alton Way, A-L-T-O-N, 
Alton Way. A L T O N. Number four, Keynes Road. K E Y N E S. Keynes Road. K E Y N E S. Number five, Hallfield Grove. H A L L F I E L D. Hallfield Grove. H A L L F I E L D. Okay, how did we do? I see a lot of people putting names in, which is really good. I'm going to get to the trickier part, which is telephone numbers. Now, one thing that I really want to mention is that when we read telephone numbers in English, we don't read them as double digit numbers, if that makes sense. So for example, I don't read it as 27, 63, 72. Okay, I would read it as two seven six three da 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 i read the numbers as one two three four five six seven zero okay seven eight nine i should also add zero or o so for this this one here you may hear zero or you might hear like o <laughs> for this one okay so there are two ways to say that are we ready for telephone numbers Oh no, you got one mistake. No problem. You got the rest right. You got four rides. Don't focus on the mistake. Focus on the ones you got right. So, telephone numbers. Are we ready? I hope so. This is probably going to be the trickiest part. Number one. 02948 382 759 Zero two nine four eight three eight two seven five nine. Number two, O seven three nine four eight five seven three nine five. O seven three nine four eight five seven. Three nine five. Number three. Six four nine. Three eight seven. Five four. Six four nine. Three eight seven. Five four. Number four. Zero eight four seven three nine two eight four seven three zero eight four seven three nine two eight four seven three number five the last one six eight two seven Four double o nine six eight two seven four double o nine. The final part that we're going to focus on is email addresses. So, just for some vocabulary, we have underscore, which is when you have a line at the bottom. Then we have a dash. It's similar to a hyphen, so don't get confused with hyphen. Hyphen is what we use with words, okay? Dash is normally what we use in email addresses and things like that, or websites. Dot, not point. I hear a lot of people saying point com, but it's dot com. And then this little swirly A symbol we call at. So we say at gmail.com at yahoo.com okay let's have a go with email addresses guys no it's not my number guys trust me the last thing i'll be doing is putting my number out <laughs> can you imagine i'd get like 200 calls at like 3 a.m like hi emma please can you teach me english <laughs> 
anyway, email addresses, let's go. So remember to listen out for underscore at dot and I haven't included any dashes mostly because we don't really use dashes in email addresses but I put it there just for vocabulary for just, just for you to know so email addresses let's go number one John Peters underscore three nine four at gmail dot com that's J O H N P E T E R S underscore 394 at gmail.com John Peters underscore 394 at gmail.com That's J O H N P E T E R S underscore 394 at gmail.com Number two, Kyle Stoneford at yahoo.com. That's Kyle, K Y L E, underscore S T O N E F O R D at yahoo.com. I think I forgot to say the underscore <laughs> the first time I read it, but I spelt it. So that's Kyle underscore Stoneford at yahoo.com. Kyle underscore Stoneford at yahoo.com. Again, K Y L E underscore S T O N E F O R D at yahoo.com. Number three, Jane.office at company.com. That's J A N E dot O double F I C E at company dot com. Jane dot office at company dot com. J A N E dot office O double F I C E at company dot com. Number four, Mohammed837 at gmail.com. That's M O H A double M E D 837 at gmail.com. Mohammed837 at gmail.com. That's M O H A double M. E D eight three seven at gmail dot com and then number five, the last one Stephen dot ace dot ninety seven at hotmail dot com that's S T E P H E N dot A C E dot ninety seven at hotmail.com steven.ace.97 at hotmail.com s-t-e-p-h-e-n dot a-c-e dot 97 at hotmail.com good 